dragging slash moving a push button in Piked. I am really struggling to figure out a way to do this. Say I implement a button very simply in a widget window. I can move its initialization point around the parent widgets area using self.button.moveX, Y, and I can get mouse events from mouse press event self, E, via E.X and E.Y, so that the button moves to wherever I click, but I just cannot seem to put all this together into a drag and drop framework. Clarification, after reading on the true meaning of drag slash drop, that's not what I need. I just want to be able to move a widget around with my mouse, much similar to the way you move magnets on a fridge. Here is an example of a movable button that still supports the normal click signal properly. In the mouse press event I record both the initial start position, and a position that will get updated throughout the drag. In the mouse move event, I get the proper offset of the widget from where it was clicked to where the actual origin is, so that the move is accurate. In the mouse release event, I check to see if the overall move was greater than at least a tiny amount. If it was, then it was a drag and we ignore the normal event to not produce a clicked signal. Otherwise, we allow the normal event handler to produce the click. It depends on what you are trying to do. If you are trying to do actual drag and drop, you're going about it wrong. What you are doing is just moving the button around in its sex, y coordinate space within its parent. It's never actually invoking any drag slash drop events, those are entirely different. You should read through the drag and drop documentation here. This URL. This URL. Instead of moving the button within the mouse press event, you'll need to create a new drag object and execute it. You can make it look like your button by taking a snapshot of your button using the picksnap colon grab widget method and assign it to the drag instance using the drag colon set picksnap method. Event if all you are trying to do is move the widget around in the parent space, I would recommend using this framework and just accepting the drop event for your the button. Then you don't trigger a bunch of unnecessary redraws.